Hey, mother fox. Yeah, what up, guys? Uh, this is the start of, um, start to finish of, um, Horror Icon, or a.k.a. James, um, Hobo Myers. All right, kid. I told you I was going to get started on it. It's Friday right now, around 6 o'clock at night. Um, okay, I have my coveralls here, which is the khaki-colored, um, Saturday toys, and I have an audience. I'm it, though, babe. Okay, um, this is the dye I use. It's called Rit dye. It's fucking awesome. I have a bowl. This is hot water. Straight tap water. I think it's got shit in it. Um, straight tap water. You know, as hot as it'll go. And you just, um, add some dye to the water. Until it, uh, completely turns whatever color that you're dyeing. Uh, what I do is, I steal straws from Dunkin' Donuts for my coffees. So, I just use a straw, because I don't have, a, like, popsicle sticks. You know, mix it up, make sure it's all good, fine and dandy. Uh, and, this is the last time you'll see these coveralls this color. So, instantly, instantaneously, they will be dark brown. Same exact color as Rob Zombie's, uh, Michael Myers coveralls. So, I'm going to completely submerge the coveralls in the solution of the dye. Um, so it's supposed to be in here for about uh, 20 minutes or so. I don't really leave it in that long. I mean, as you guys can see, if I can fucking get it, I mean, they're already dark brown. And once they completely dry, then they're the same exact color. And I shit you guys not as the coveralls for, uh, have the colors and shit under there. But yeah, uh, I'll make a cut here. The next uh, part of the phase of the uh, coveralls, you'll see them all dried. And I'll be adding the uh, snaps to the side of the legs. Pace, my fox. Alright, um, this is the last time you're going to see him like this. Alright, uh, here's the boots. I have uh, here. Um, got an update on the knife. Cut the knife out, shaped it, sanded it down. I just got to make the handle for it. It's your metal knife, kid. Here's all the snaps for the uh, coveralls. And here's the coveralls, all dyed brown. Remember the last time you guys seen it? Very nice. Perfectly colored. It's not weathered yet, so you got to wait until I dirty it up, bloody it up. Um... This is the figure. I uh, sanded down most of his head here, so now I can sculpt over it, because he had kind of a fucked up hair line. Uh, so I gotta do the boots. Here's your stand. Uh, where my thumb is, it's not gonna be like that. It's gonna be covered. I'm gonna cover it with like a pole. Um, and then I got you a wooden disc. Um, it's a lot bigger than the other ones I use. So I figured, uh, be able to stand back like that, and uh, <coughs> obviously he'll be back here somewhere. And you'll have all this room, so there'll be all grass, mud, and shit. I'm gonna do a name plate for you. All right, our icon, James. Um, he's almost completely sculpted. Next time you will see him. Uh, It'll be completely sculpted with a fresh coat of white on him. Uh, you can see the hair coming out the bottom of the mask. See the hair on the side of the head. I do leave the airs because there's no point of sculpting airs if they're already there. So, uh, that's why I have the clothes here that I've dyed. And now they are dried. Dyed and dried. Um, it's going to be his, uh, under jacket it's type thing right under the vest um, obviously it's going to be torn up and the flannel is going to be attached to it uh, 
Yeah, it's a little uh, wrinkly right now, but I had to dye that the dark blue. And I have to just add the green to this, the green on the hood. And there's his vest. Uh, weather it up, tear it up, bloody it up. So next time you see this, these will be done. He will be painted, and then I'll do another cut with hair. So, uh, y'all, yeah, motherfuck. Yeah, boy. Um, again, not nothing is weathered yet, but I just slapped on his uh, outfit. His face is completely painted, as you can see there. Or icon, I bet you can't wait for that shit, kid. Alright, so, uh, like I said, uh, his face is completely painted. It's completely done. Um, so all I gotta do is hair him, and the figure itself is done. Uh, I'm gonna make a cut here and put this on him and show you what's up. As you can see, uh, now it's green. Uh, I gotta do all the camo design on it, and then, uh, we'll take it from there. So, I should be done tomorrow, and I still have to do the fucking boots. Alright, I'll make a cut. But, uh, let me know what you think, kid, so far. Again, the lighting is not going to do nothing. Plus, I have to hear it. So. Yeah, boy. Take his fucking hood off. He's a bull to Michael Myers. All sculpted kit. There's like six layers of paint on there. Different techniques. Brush. Dry brush wet brush still have to put the blood up in there but yeah kid for the most part you know obviously I'll be doing more touch ups but and I also gotta darken up the lips so it brings that out that feature out more I mean like I said you're not gonna be able to tell without the hair to give the actual effect of Hobo Myers, but you could definitely see it. Alright, kid, let me know what you think. Oh, I finish it knife, too. It's a knife. To sand a little bit. And uh, put some paint on it. But for the most part, I'll show you actually. Actually, I don't have the hand. The other hand's over there. As you can see, I mean, it, it's a big fucking knife. He's a big man. Big man, big knife. I'll just put that next to his head. All right, there you go, kid. Almost done. I told you I'll be done tomorrow, brother. But uh, look for part two coming tomorrow. Complete final product. And you guys let me know. And, uh... Here's his lovely girlfriend. She's so happy right now. Wait till you see what I do to her. She's got a nice little dress on with her fucking jeans. and Oh, she's going to be fucking bent up. Titties are going to be hanging out. Oh, yeah. She'll be dead. Oh, yeah, kid. Uh, I just basically started. I told you I was going to put it on a big disc. There it is. Uh, I got your felt pads on the bottom, so it doesn't scratch your desk or wherever you put it. I don't know, obviously, I'll sign it. I'll put my logo or whatever down there. But for the most part, I started sculpting some dirt with some leftover epoxy sculpt just to show you uh, that the stand here. I still have to figure out what I'm going to do with the stand. Uh, cause I'm, I mean, if you want a tree, I'll do a tree, but 